ladies and mostly gentlemen today we're going to talk about Arden Wield and more specifically the seven mounts that are available in Arden Wield right now in the Shadowlands but before we get into that guys I just want to thank the sponsor of this video and that is my Twitch channel twitch.tv slash MrGM if you want to check me out streaming Shadowlands every single day I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM right so this is the start of a four-part series I'm going to be doing going over every single zone in the Shadowlands and all of the mounts that have been available I've been building up footage for this video since beta so some of the footage might be a little bit outdated but the information is correct as of launch so we're going to look at Arden World in this video and there are seven mounts now this does not include the night phase specific mounts these are mounts that are available to absolutely everybody all the time so you don't need to be a member of the night fae these are seven mounts that you can actually literally go and get right now and some of them are even a hundred percent so this is pretty exciting so without further ado let's jump into the first mount called the arboreal gulper now this is the frog mount you may already have this mount because it is a hundred percent drop yeah, this mount is actually a 100% drop from the rare Humongous who spawns in Ardenwield. So this one's pretty easy. All you have to do is get a unusually large mushroom. Now these can drop from pretty much any NPC in Ardenwield and that gives you a 20 minute timer on this item. Now, as I said, it's pretty regular so you don't need to farm for ages and there's no real specific area to farm. Just, you know, naturally it will drop from pretty much everything in Ardenwield. Now, once you have the mushroom, you need to head over to this location here and spawn Humongous. Now, because of the servers being so populated right now he's actually up most of the time so you probably won't even need the mushroom it's probably best to go check there first if he's not there grab the mushroom and then spawn him all you gotta do is go to the location where he normally spawns click the damp loam and give it a couple seconds to grow and then humongous will spawn and he will drop the mount the mount is a fantastic looking mount it's one of those frog mounts we had a few of them in bfa that are like 333,000 gold and this one is a hundred percent drop and free. So if you want to get an Arden Wield Frog, you can get it pretty easily just by killing Humongous. The next mount we're going to look at is called the Wild Seed Cradle. Now this is one of the most unique mounts of the Shadowlands. As you can see, it's just one of those big cradle things from Arden Wield. It's so unique and the best part about it is that it's another 100% mount. You can get this right now. So what do you have to do to obtain this cradle? Well, it's pretty simple. So all you have to do is essentially head to the Garden of the Night in Ardenweald. Now, once you're there, there are five items you need to collect from the ground. You've got the Diary of the Night, the Gardener's Hammer, the Gardener's Basket, the Gardener's Flute, and the Gardener's Wand. Once you get all these items, you need to combine them and give them to Twinklestar. So the specific locations of all of these items are listed below in the description. Shout out to Sipter and Wowhead for the specific coordinates. So essentially, once you've collected all of those, as I said, combine them into Twinklestar's gardening toolkit, then head to Turn of Val. All you have to do after that is speak to Twinklestar. That will open up the Cache of the Moon right behind her. You click it, and there you go. There is your Wild Seed Cradle. As I said, one of the coolest mounts coming out of Ardenwield and the best part about it is it actually flies. This mount flies. I couldn't believe it on beta when I actually first got it because you know I was just running around the Shadowlands then I went to Ogrima and I could fly around. So Wild Seed Cradle very easy and again shout out to Sipta on Wowhead for the coordinates for that one. They'll be linked in the description below this video. So the next mount we're going to take a look at is the Shimmer Mist Runner. This is a mount you may have seen in Turn Asai but you can't interact with it because you have to do a specific thing so you can interact with the NPC to obtain the mount and it's pretty interesting and I do like this little secret here uh, but yeah it's fairly easy to do. So shout out to Rogues on Wowhead for the full list of TomTom Tom coordinates here. All you got to do is paste those into the game and follow the dots through the maze. Now if you don't have TomTom Tom or Paste installed and you want to do it the old-fashioned way there's a pretty simple way to do it. Essentially start at this point right here and keep an eye on the archways at the intersections. Now the ones that are the correct way have like a blue lantern. Sometimes it's on the floor, sometimes it's hanging at the top and they'll look something like this and you just keep following that path until you get to the NPC Shizka and he should be interactable if you've done the maze correctly. Now all you got to do is kill him once he's dead you can just click the mount and it is obtainable. Now this is doable by an entire group if you just get one guy to make Shizka interactable you can just get the whole group together kill Shizka and everybody gets the mount. This is another 100% mount. It's a unicorn mount, as I mentioned, and it does actually fly. So there you go. There's another flying unicorn for your collection, the Shimmer Mist Runner. So gather up a group and more than likely there's going to be a ton of people on the Dungeon Finder doing it. So yeah, that's essentially how you do the Shimmer Mist Runner. And shout out to Rogues on Wowhead for the guide. The next mount is the Silky Shimmer Moth. Now this isn't actually a drop mount. This is something that you do actually buy for 5,000 anima. Now, 
You can't just go up to the vendor and buy it for 5,000 anima, you do have to do some prerequisites. But it's not too difficult, but you do need a friend who is in the Night Fae Covenant. So once you've gathered your Night Fae friend, you need them to channel their anima conductor to the Star Lake Amphitheater. Once they've done that, you need to head over there and start the event. Now, there's seven different events that can happen in this amphitheater, and essentially you need to do them all. Once you've defeated all seven encounters, which are just great by the way, this whole area is just amazing, you can now purchase the mount from Master Clerk Salon, who's just located in the Star Lake Amphitheater, and you can just buy that, as I said, for 5,000 anima. So, not too difficult to do, you just need to have a friend who's in the Night Fae Covenant, who can actually use the anima conductor to conduct anima to the Star Lake Amphitheater. The next mount obtainable in Ardenwood is the Spine Moor Glade Chewer. This is one of those bug mounts, it looks pretty great, and good news once again, it's 100% drop. And this is super fun to do, so gather up a group, get as many people as you can, because the more people you have for this, the quicker it's gonna happen. So, all you have to do is head to this location here in Turner Sai. Now once you're there, kill everything. Kill all of the Bristlecone NPCs, kill all of the Deranged Guardians, and just keep killing them until Chompy spawns. Now once Chompy spawns, you need to kill Chompy, and then after that, Gorm Tamer Tizzo will spawn, and that is the rare for the mount. Once you kill Gorm Tamer Tizzo, that's literally it. That will drop the mount, and it drops for absolutely everyone in your group. It's 100%, and it's a cool, unique looking mount. So if that's something you're interested in, gather up a group. It's not too hard to do, like you could probably two or three man it. They are elites in that area, uh, but essentially, yeah, just gather up a small group of people, go down there, kill literally everything. It, it takes a little bit. We were there for about 20 minutes or so killing stuff before it spawns, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly RNG in regards to how quickly it spawns. So maybe I got unlucky. I'm not really sure, but essentially, yeah, just head over to that location, kill stuff over there, Gorm Tamer spawns, and then you have a brand new bug mount. Okay, so the sixth mount obtainable in Ardenwield is, once again, another 100% mount. Ardenwield is so plentiful for a 100% mount. This is called the Swift Gloomhoof, and it's another unicorn mount, of course. So to attack and spawn this NPC, you need to get a Dreamcatcher. Now this is a blue item originally thought to be only obtainable by members of the Night Fae Covenant, but apparently it turns out anyone can get it, so that's really great. So the first thing you need to do is get a Broken Soul Web. Now this will take you back down to the uninstanced version of Turn Aside to this point here. Once you get to this point here, you're going to need to glide over to this giant root. Once you've glided over there, just follow the path along and you'll find a cart. On this cart is the item, and it's just on the floor there, you can pick it up, and that will give you the broken soul web. Pretty easy to do at this point. Once you've got the soul web, you need to head to the Glimmerful Basin. Now, you need to look for an NPC called Elder Gwenna. If Elder Gwenna isn't here and there are quests available, you need to do the quests in this area. They take a little bit, but they're not too hard to do, they're just a bunch of side quests, and once all of that is done, Elder Gwenna will be in that area permanently. Now what you need to do here is speak to her, give her the broken soul web, and give her 10 lightless silk, and she'll give you a repaired soul web in return. Now once you've got this repaired soul web, you need to head to the heart of the forest. Now this is where people thought that it was only for the Night Fae Covenant, because you need to speak to Ysera. Now Ysera is obviously inside of the heart of the forest for the Night Fae, and if you try go there as a different Covenant, you're just going to get kicked out of the area. All you got to do here is once you have the repaired soul web, and speak to the guards, this will bring up a new dialogue which will bring Ysera outside of the heart of the forest. Once you've done that, speak to Ysera and she'll give you the Dreamcatcher. This is a blue item and is required by everybody in the group if you are doing this in a group. So everyone who wants the mount needs to do all of the steps that we just did. So once everyone has the Dreamcatcher, you want to head to the Hibernal Hollow. This is located here on the Ardenwild map. Now, all you gotta do is walk outside this area and click your Dreamcatcher. Now, this will put you in a different phase with a different color palette. As I said, you need everybody in your group to be inside this phase. And essentially, you're gonna look for an NPC called Nightmare, and Nightmare will be running around. You probably could solo it, I couldn't do it, but I think it is probably possible. We two banned it in the end and it wasn't too difficult. But yeah, basically go into that phase, kill Nightmare, and it drops for the entire group, and there you go. And that will give you the Swift Gloomhoof Mount, which is another unicorn, and of course, it flies. And finally, the final mount of Ardenwild is the Wild Glimmerfer Prowler. Now, the interesting thing about this mount is that it's actually a recolor of a store mount, the Volpine Familiar. It's a green version of that. Now, it does not fly. Obviously, the Volpine Familiar can fly. This is a non-flying mount. But as I said, it is a recolor of a store mount, which is actually pretty interesting. Now, this has also gone through a few changes during beta. During beta, it was actually 100% for everybody in the group. Unfortunately, that is not the case anymore. And it looks like this mount is now a rare drop, but I believe it can be farmed 
daily. So yeah, just go there every day, kill the NPC, and hope that the mount drops. Now this drops from Valfir the Unrelenting, who's in the uninstanced version of Turn Aside. A lot of these mounts seem to be over there, and you probably won't be able to solo him, and here's the reason why. So I don't know if this is a bug or not, but essentially he has a buff called Misty Veil, and it makes it so you can't attack him. However, right now in the game, you can actually attack him. He does take damage, but very, very rarely. Uh, so it's super hard to kill. It takes a long time, but it is killable with that Misty Veil buff up. Now in a normal world when that buff actually works, you need to get a Night Fae player to channel Anima to turn aside and uh, remove the buff by picking up a Anima Seed Light. And that should just be in this area here and that will remove the buff. But yeah, as I said, you can actually kill it right now and it is a rare drop. It takes a lot of people and a lot of time and it does drop a recolored Storm out, so pretty interesting. And it also looks like once you kill him, he pretty much respawns instantly, so you don't need to worry on a spawn timer or anything like that. Actually just gonna be another daily mount farm for you to do in Ardenweald. So that's pretty much it. That is the seven mounts of Ardenweald, not including the Night Face specific mounts. Let me know what you think of these mounts. Ardenweald is so plentiful for mounts, it's actually amazing. It's actually one of the first places I went once I hit 60 on my character. I needed to go over there, I needed to get the 100% drop mounts, and I got all of them. I got pretty much all of them right now uh, on my character. So, yeah, hopefully this guide works, guys. Let me know down below if this guide did help you. Shout out to all the commenters on Wowhead for figuring out all this stuff. It's absolutely awesome. I'm going to leave all of the TomTom Tom coordinates down below. So, TomTom Tom and Paste are going to be your best friends for all of these mount guides uh, in the future. So, yeah, before I go, guys, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing and patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you'd like to, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to get some mounts on the EU, I've been doing groups for these every single day. So if you want to check me out streaming Shadowlands, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.